Good afternoon, everybody. It is Angie, Treasured Vintage, bringing you another Sunday show. And it looks like we have um, Lydia and we have uh, Lisa and Cracky and uh, Benoit. Hi. I, I hope I'm saying that name right, but welcome from Canada. Thanks for joining. I haven't seen you before, but welcome. Um, Benoit, Benoit. I, I wish I knew how, I knew, wish I knew how you were going to say that word. Hi, Terry. Yay, jewelry. Nice to see you. Hi, Lolly. Thanks for coming, you guys. Let me get my windows straightened out here and moved around so they are maximized and minimized and all that it needs to be. Hey, Velvet, how are you? Oh, Christiane from Portugal, hi. Wow, thank you for coming. That's great. So I've got some, some things to show you today. This, this right here was an eBay purchase. Good morning, Kathleen. So I think I'm going to get right into it because my, my uh, plans for the rest of the day are going to be taking pictures, I think. Um, I have some really cool things to take pictures of. Hi, Debbie Mitchell. How are you doing? Um, happy Sunday. Hey, Tanya. Good to see you. I miss you. I need to, we need to do a show because I miss you. Um, I have jewelry Instagram. I love watching you. Oh, thank you. Okay. All right. Thanks. I'll have to check you out on Instagram then, Christiane. I have Instagram too. My I put my jewelry up on Dazzled by Vintage. So that's where I have my instagram account and that's also the name of my etsy shop dazzled by vintage it's all one word so this crazy thing happened i was looking in my uh, brooch container where i was picking out a brooch because it sold and i was just looking and pulling drawers and i'm like this is interesting i don't think i have this listed and then i saw, thought well okay i vaguely remember this it has earrings to match and then i looked on the back and lo and behold it's monet and i had this monet <laughs> for a couple years probably i don't remember where i got it I, wait i think i did get it in an ebay lot but it's really different so that's going in my collection <laughs> straight from my inventory drawer into my collection <laughs> but it's a uh, they're pierced earrings. They're Marc Monet on the back, too. Really colorful, right? Kind of orange. Yeah. Really neat. Probably, what, 80s, do you think? It looks kind of 80s to me. Or 70s, maybe. Um, that happens, yeah. Oh, thanks, Benoit. Benoit, I hope I'm saying that right. Then I have some of my uh, collection on today. This one, this piece is one of my Monet silver tone pieces. And this is my Machine Age uh, bracelet, Monet from the 50s. This is also 50s. So, yeah, I thought I'd sport my Monet today. Hi, Donna. What was the name of my Etsy shop? It is Dazzled. By vintage and uh, it's all one word dazzled by vintage um, I'll put it in the um, description down here so you can come back and look um, usually I put it in there well I, I forget most of the time actually to put it down there but um, I know in some of my videos I have remembered to put it in there oh thank you cracky thanks crack it's all one word though Thanks for putting that in there. So this was our uh, eBay purchase and Klein. Uh, I got I got some necklaces in in a lot, but there was a Monet one that I wanted, so that's why I got it. But I like this too. This is very cool. You see, it has the signature and Klein lion there, and then it's like overlaid by with this 
um, shell and it just lays together lays together really nice it makes a nice presentation I think I think it's pretty nice for one of those wire necklaces I'm usually not big on those wire necklaces but I do like this one this one's rather rather classy I like it so I got that and then there were some things that I weren't wasn't real crazy about in the lot, but I had to get it, get them to get the necklace, so I got it. Yep, that's it. Thank you. Um, this is a kind of a boho, kind of a seeded, kind of seeds and beads together with a knot down here, and. Lobster claw clasp. That was in there. I'm showing the Monet last. <laughs> Show you all the other stuff first. Uh, there was a set of earrings, and uh, this is real boho too. And this is these are this is bone, and these are brass. Or no, they're wood. This is wood. And then there's some things in there that look like brass. And then these, these are bone, and they went with it. They're the kind you can change out, put a different, put a different uh, hoop on or something, change them out real easy. So that went with it. Thank you, Tanya. Hi, Teresa. <laughs> okay, I sold one of these before, and it took a while, but it finally sold. But I didn't, I didn't have the earrings with it, so this is definitely a what '70s piece or '80s, I don't know. But it's got the earrings with it, and this is like ceramic, and it's on this beaded, white beaded necklace. But it has some, I don't know, it looks kind of beachy to me or something. It's painted, then it has the earrings that go with it. So that was one thing that was in the lot. And the thing that I bought it for was this beautiful Monet. Let me see if I can put it on here. Put it on the thing, the display thing for you. So it looks like it's hanging somewhere. Thank you, Tanya. I appreciate it. Well. Okay. Isn't that pretty? Classic 80s look with the uh, centurion or Roman soldier or whatever there. But yeah, I love, love, love that necklace. And unfortunately, um, it was just for the necklace, but they must have had one earring they thought they'd send me. <laughs> there wasn't two, but there was only one. And they didn't ad advertise it going with a pair of earrings. So I figured she probably lost one and just threw that one in. But that was worth a lot. And uh, I think that's really beautiful. Yeah, so that'll go in my collection for a while until I decide to part with it. One of these days, I'm really, I'm really going to do it. I'm really going to make, it'll have to be multiple videos of my collection because it's getting big. <laughs> it's getting huge. So that was the eBay lot that I got. Thank you. Hey, D90, how are you doing? Thanks for coming. Um, I bought some things from Debbie and Max. Um, she, uh, Debbie Porter has a Facebook page where you can, she puts pictures up every once in a while of her items and you can buy from there. So I bought some things and she also sent me some free things. So I'll show you what I bought. 
this little penguin pin they're actually going for pretty good money on Etsy um, there's like different ones and different styles different kind of birds but um very nice crystal inlay with the red stone eye really well made um, so people that collect those will like that hey Dawn Dawn's coming in for work hi nice to see you I love Debbie and Max too I just we have to get her, them on the show Tanya we got to start our show up again um hey Perla Perla needs to come on too yeah and Lisa we've got a bunch of people that need to get come on the uh, jewelry admirers show get ready people <laughs> I got this uh I got this cardinal it I put it on the chain it was just the pendant but isn't that neat it's nice and big you know I love my birds so um, I sold a bird similar I think it was a parrot one time but it, it was about this size and it was silver and it had earrings to match and it was there was a lot of interest in that in that so I thought I'd take a chance on that and I put it on a Sarah Coventry chain Oh, Perla would love to come on. Oh, good. That sounds great. Oh, we'd love to have you on. As soon as we get figured out when we're going to start the show up again. Maybe, I don't know how long of a little break we're going to take. But This is Napier. This is what Debbie sent me. She sent me uh, gifts along with my couple purchases. So this is the... Napier necklace. If you follow me on Instagram, you might or Facebook too. You might have seen my dog wearing this. You might have seen my Joey wearing this <laughs> little Napier necklace. And this is very cute. I love this. This milk glass um, wired bracelet with these very cute um, carved roses, porcelain or you know, probably porcelain, I guess, roses with the gold around the edges. There's one on this side, one on this side. There's no no chips or anything out of it. I've never seen any like that. I've seen the, the white beaded um, wired bracelets before, but I've never seen any with those blue flowers on. <laughs> yeah, our little, our little models. But you know what? I think I'm going to advertise this as something blue because wouldn't that be pretty for a springtime or a summer bride you know there's something blue just that little blue and like for a beach wedding or something i don't know i just thought that would be neat but i really like that very vintagey hey brenda hi belinda i guess i meant belinda no i somebody did say hi Brenda is Brenda here too I must have missed if Brenda came in but I do see Belinda thanks for coming you guys so what else do we have what else do we have um who's this from oh this is from I bought this from jewelry nurse this is a very good brand of um it's called Barclay McClelland and if you look that up it's a good maker and they only made jewelry for a limited number of years in the 40s so I right now I have a really beautiful necklace and I have this piece of Barclay McClelland and uh, it's pretty rare maker so I think I'm gonna hang on to those um, not that I'm starting a collection, but I think I might just keep those for a while. It's signed on the back here. Hi, Nadine. Oh, that was your autocorrect. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, I know there's Brenda. I haven't seen her lately, but I know there is one. Um, you like my silver bracelet? That's it. Oh, that's Monet, too. That's also Monet. And this one. And this one's the machine machine age Monet. 
trying to see if that was signed um barclay mcclelland or just barclay Barclay, uh, one one twentieth, twelve karat gold filled. That's what all that was in the back. But you see, it's a pendant also. It's a pin pendant. So that's that. Hi, Vanessa. You have this Monet bangle in gold. Isn't it small? I I don't know why it's so small. Is your small, Tanya? I don't know if they made them in different sizes or not. But I have a little wrist, and that's really small on my wrist. I mean, it barely goes together, and I thought it should go together. Teresa, you never heard of that. Um, all this bracelet terminology. <laughs> Machine age. I just learned that recently myself. And uh, that's what it's referred to in the Monet book. This chunky stuff here you see it like blocks almost that's what they're referring to as machine age now i don't know if it has to do with the chunkiness of it or it has to do with the time frame when it was made in the 50s but i'm thinking it's more of the style i would think yeah yours is small too okay i wondered because i think i heard somebody else say theirs was little and then uh, Jewelry Nurse sent me just a gift of this little circle pin with gold leaves and little pearls on, which is very dainty and very cute. She sent that along with the... She's very, very um, generous. Always sends something when I buy something. That's really nice. So then I have two more Monet bangles. I now have probably, I'm going to say at least 10 or 12 bangles of, of different kinds of Monet. And um, one of these is in the book and one of them isn't. This one is in my book and this one is not, but they're both really pretty. It's really nice. I got those at uh, I got those when I was with Vincent at the Black Rose Antique Mall. Oh, okay. Are you saying this is an old por Portuguese style, or this one? This one here, probably. Angie is a Monet dealer. <laughs> I'm more like the person on the street corner saying, "Hey, you got any Monet? <laughs> you got you got a Monet fix for me?" <laughs> oh, I I tickle myself. Probably don't tickle you, but I tickle myself. Uh, this is a this is a really nice bracelet. That's it's kind of like reminds me of pretzel twist or something it's really thick and it's uh i got this down at the antique mall also and it's it's a nice shape it doesn't have any wear on it <laughs> you're dying <laughs> give me some money <laughs> seems like i get some every week so it's like i'm not real sick yet I haven't got to the point where I'm I'm sick yet. <laughs> um, okay, where did I get this at? Oh, um, the retirement home thrift store. I had to go for an ultrasound this week, actually, to check. Was it an ultrasound? Yeah, that's what they're called. My friend Patty had to straighten me out. An ultrasound is the actual procedure, and the sonogram is the picture. That you end up with well i had to get an ultrasound as a screening for an aneurysm because i did i found out that aneurysms run in families and my mom had one so they wanted to my family doctor said let's get you in and see you know just see if there's anything in there that might need addressed so that's what we did everyone send angie some monet stat yes 
do it. <laughs> no withdrawals here. <laughs> Hi, Kathleen. We're having fun in here. But anyway, um, I, I, in case anybody cares, I am good. I've got no aneurysms. And I'm always, I'm always joking with Patty. You know, she's, she's making me stressed, stressed out sometimes. Or she's asking me to go out of my comfort zone. And I'm saying, my aneurysm's getting bigger. <laughs> well, now I don't have that excuse because I don't have any. At least down in here, I don't have any uh, blood thinners. Okay. So this, look at the colors on this. I got this at the, the uh, thrift shop at the retirement home and it's loose Claiborne but you know normally I don't buy bead necklaces only if there's something that I really like about them like these colors are so vibrant and pretty and uh, it's in such great shape and right there on the on that tiny little hang tag you know it almost reminds me of kind of a um, Silpata, uh hang tag type of thing, or just the design on it kind of reminds me of that, it's kind of those lines and stuff. But then you look over here and it's it probably isn't anything like Silpata. But I don't know why, I just thought it kind of looked reminiscent of that. But anyway, over here it says LC. LC for Liz Claiborne. And, and the, the copyright symbol. So, I just love those colors. God's good every day, Blackberry Thistle. You got that right. Reminds you of a Hershey's Kiss. That bracelet? Anyway, I love those colors. Hi, Josie. That's a good report, no aneurysm. Hey, Cindy. Good to see you. Yeah, thank you. Thank the Lord. No aneurysm. Don't have to worry about that. Uh, these are Monet. See the price on those? A dollar. They were also at the retirement home. Um, these big hoops are in style right now. Um, I, I've seen, well, the one indicator is my niece is a teenager. She's about 16, and she was wearing big hoops, big plain hoops. And then I've been seeing on TV all the time, big plain hoops. So I'm getting those listed in my shop. Um, and normally I do sell a lot of those. So, but these are Monet. I don't think I'm going to sell those right away. <laughs> Hoochie mama earrings. <laughs> I love hoops. Kathleen loves hoops. You have a bum foot, Vanessa? I do too. I just got a shot in my foot the other day. Cortisone shop. Sh shot. You're out thrifting commission for a while. Out of thrifting commission. Yeah, you can do it online, right? That won't stop us, will it, Vanessa? <laughs> yes, I'm trying to keep up with the chat. It's moving a little fast. But I'm reading the chat, trying to, while I'm showing you stuff. These. I really like these. And they reminded me of uh, Kenneth J. Lane bow uh, enhancer that I bought and sold for pretty good money here recently. Um, but they aren't marked in any way, but still, they're very cool. They're very cool earrings. I think somebody's going to like those. Um, I mean, I haven't seen anything like that. They're really nicely made. Did the shot hurt? Oh, yeah. I was praying and saying Bible verses and looking up in the air and <laughs> all kinds of stuff. It, they always hurt, but this is probably about the... Tenth one I've got, so I know what to expect. Those are in nice shape. I like those a lot. So those I want to get listed soon. 
just like a million other things I want to get listed soon. You're getting one soon. Okay. Well, maybe take some ibuprofen before you go, maybe. And, uh, yeah, pray. <laughs> is it for your, is it in your foot, Vanessa? You're getting one? Mine's, mine was like right behind my toes, like in that joint, big joint behind my big toe. These are Tafari. It's really the only reason I got them. I'm not a big heart person, but if I can get Tafari and it's on a card, you know, that I just think Tafari so well made that I'm going to probably pick up any Tafari that I can find. And they're good sell, sales. Crocs and socks, just saying. <laughs> okay, we'll have to commiserate Vanessa. I'm thinking about, since now that I'm on Medicare, about getting the surgery. It's just an in and out one day surgery. But I don't feel like going to uh, rehab and all that stuff you got to go through. Is that one of the rings you got for me? It is. It is, Lisa. That's that one. That's one of the rings I got from Lisa's pop-up shop. The very pretty one. I thought it went well with this bracelet. Here is something that I got mainly for the really nice chain. Um, like I said, I'm not a big heart person. But this chain is so nice. It's it's a rope chain, and it's twisted, and it's long, and it's very nice condition. So I thought, at the very least, if I don't keep this big old heart pendant on this chain, I can switch it out and uh, put something else on it. See, it's open work, and it's enameled. It's nice, I guess. It's just... It was just something I went back and forth about buying because I didn't really, I'm not really a heart person. <laughs> Whatever. It was $1.50. But the chain's really nice. And the, and the heart is really nice too, actually. So, just throw it out and buy a new foot. And, and bit a new foot. <laughs> I'll have more rings in your pop-up later today and some necklaces. Okay. Here's the... Well, I'll show that when I'm done. I think I am done with that. Here is the necklace. If you all watch the, um, if you watched my friend mail video that from Lisa, here's the necklace that I forgot to, uh, or I missed showing, and it's really nice. I love it. I love the way it's made. Um, I like the bar chain. I like the matching pendant with the pearls on it and the, I don't know what those things are called on the bottom, but I like them. And uh, it's got this kind of a clasp on it. Normally, I'm not big on those kind of clasps, but this one just seems like it operates really well. It uh, It's not signed or anything. Some of these clasps, you really, really have to fight with them to get them in the hole, you know, get them fastened. But this one works well. I mean, I just clipped it in there really good, and it, it's cute. I'm going to keep it a while and wear it because I like it. That's my style right there. That's cute. You're having a hard time wearing off my heels that make you taller. Weaning off my heels. I know. This surgery that I'm going to get for my foot is going to fuse the bone together. And I'm not going to be able to like bend my foot for any like high heels i'll be able to wear heels maybe that big and that'll be it i can't really wear them now so i might as well you know I, that's about the size i can wear right now so i might as well get the surgery i just don't want to do a bunch of rehab i don't like being told that i have to go and do stuff every day i like to do my own thing <laughs> <laughs> Lolly, heels of the devil. Angie, who is D90? You know, I do not know who D D90 is, but D90, what's your first name? I like D90. They're around. I've seen D90 around a lot. So I'm I'm glad D90 is here. 
See, she, he left some hearts up there in the chat. Oh, you're in rehab now. Did you get surgery? You are an independent woman. I I am an independent woman. I, I am. So D90 won't tell who they are? That's okay. They don't have to. As long as they're nice, I don't care. I don't care who they are. Um, Roberta, I am having a blessed day. I'm the rebellious type. Well, I used to be a lot more than I am now, but um, I'm kind of. I definitely was at one time. These I got at that church sale that um, I did the video on that I kind of, I guess, made the mistake of saying like a kind of a clickbaity type of um, title for my video. My video was called, I wish I didn't know this or something like that. I don't know. I think that's the reason why I got three thumbs down. I'm not really sure why I got three thumbs down. It doesn't really matter, but it was just curious to me. I wonder why. But it doesn't really matter to me. Anyway, these are sterling. They're sterling and they're little snowmen and pearls. And they're marked on the back down here. Right here, they're marked. 925 and some maker's mark. So they were worth $2. And then there were these other ones. They were 25 cents a piece. These are real dainty. They... I want to test them because they, they kind of look either gold-filled or gold. I'm not sure. And they look like an opal. They're probably gold-filled because the, the post is silver. So, you know, the silver is not, the post is not gold. If the post was gold, I'd be like, maybe they are gold, but no. Are those birds on that clock? On the wall. Yes, Patty. Hi, Patty P. They are, and I turned the birds off. The birds do work, but I, I turned them off because they were really loud. <laughs> I had them going for at least a year, but then I was like, I'm kind of tired of listening to the birds. So, and these I got, they were a quarter, and I think they're cute too. And when I got up there to pay for the stuff, you have the same clock? Oh, Roberta. Yeah, they were popular at one time. When I got up to pay for the uh, these things at the church sale, she said two dollars and fifty cents or something. I said, "Oh my, that can't be right." I also got all this other stuff, and it was all in here. I said, "You didn't get the jewelry," and she said, "Oh, I forgot the jewelry." And I'm like, "I'm not going to cheat God. I'm not going to try to <laughs> do that." And the other guy in, that was in front of me a few times a few people before that he was like would you take this for it would you take that for it and she said well this is a church <laughs> i'm like oh <laughs> so this is very cute i like that for a dollar right it's really nice it's nicely made these are leather leather handles this was 25 cents Needs cleaned, but I just think it's really pretty the way it looks on the side. Oh, it's signed. You know, I wonder if it is hand painted. Signed right there. I have to look at that closer and see what that says. Looks like Lena. Lena something. I bet that is hand painted. Hey, H.J. Williams. How you doing? And I got this. I just sold a trivet in Etsy just uh, within a month or so. I've, I've sold one of these in Etsy. So this was only a quarter, and this has nice, nice inlaid wood here. So I'm going to see if there's any like that on Etsy that I can sell. I mean, that I can go by to see what they might go for. And it's nicely made. And it's got a HCB on the back right here. 
So I'll have to look that up. Oh, that's great, Adam. Adam's interview with Casey got 300 views so far. That's great. He should, it should get a lot of views, I would think. Well, you know, we're always going to be there, Adam, to support you. You always do so much for us. Kathleen, hi. You have a blessed day, too. Um, hi, Carmen. Oh, yeah, you need to do your tea chat. I want to come. I thought this was good for 50 cents. I can always use these cards. They're pretty. Just um, blank cards, but they're made nice by a nice maker and everything. So 50 cents for that. And some more like thank you cards for 25 cents. So that was... That was what I got at that sale, church sale. Pamela, you made it. How are ya? Also, at the retirement home thrift shop, I got this really nice hat, Scala hat, and it was a dollar. It looks like um, they put the... They put this band on afterwards, maybe. I'm not sure. Because it also has this. It had this, too. So I was like, well, wait a minute. Did somebody add this to it? Maybe they did. But I got that. Hmm. I'm not a hat person, as you can see. Oh, you can put the band. You can put the brim either way. That's good. That'll be good for, like, sun or... A sun hat or a boater hat or however you want to do your hat thing. Yeah, this is nice buy, I think. That's a that's a nice the straw in it and everything's really nice. So that was a good buy. I'll probably put that and look at all those hats, Lolly. They look like the hat that I just showed. Um I'll probably put that in my Etsy shop for like I don't know, twenty something. 24 maybe i'll have to see if there's any other ones and check out that brand and see what that brand sells for so we'll see then one more thing i want to show you and it's going to be a short show today oh i promised the gold debt i, I had that in the i will show you the gold debt that i got and i'll save some stuff for next week or the next week whenever I come on again yeah I love I love Pamela's videos too I gotta catch up on her videos definitely have to catch up on hers okay this is a really nice gold at piece that I got um I got this from frugal pretty sure it was frugal and uh, it's mesh, a mesh choker. It has a B with a red stone in it for accent. And then there's a clear stone up here. And, you know, Goldette is a really good brand to look for to resell because they, they sell really well. And uh, they're nicely made. They're quality vintage costume jewelry. Um, always always well made and interesting you know they're interesting pieces a lot they're they're known for their beautiful bracelets and that's just a really cool piece there too i like that a lot so i got that from one of frugal's auctions i love the way that lavender looks on you thank you I'm like I said in one of my last videos, I'm just stuck on lavender lately. I, I, I'm really liking the lavender. It's a nice change from my black that I wear all the time. Pam, Pamela said she's having fun making them, making the videos. Everyone, I'm on I'm in my phone, um, Adam says, or I'd post the link. And don't forget Cece's auction. 
Yeah, Cindy Jewelry Nurse is doing a uh, a benefit auction for CC, who needs a car. Um, she has no transportation. She had an accident. Uh, so her uh, jewelry nurse is going to do the benefit auction and people donated things to. And that's going to be at 5 o'clock today, Eastern Time, on Jewelry Nurse's channel. Thank you, Pamela. Uh, that looks like a real ruby. I don't know. Angie binge watching Dynasty right now and loving all the jewelry fashions. Oh, I know. Can't you learn a lot from that? I mean, there's a lot of stuff that that I have. I mean, that looks exactly like I have for sale. That's on that show. I'm sure. Thanks, Roberta. Um. Okay. So the story with this is, this is a very nice piece of Mona era Napier. It's, it's a book piece and it's from the Byzantine series. I think it's Byzantine and uh, sells for quite a bit. Um, if you look these up, they sell for a lot. Uh, I happen to get this really cheap, like $17. Um, but I'm going to keep it a while and I'll probably resell it at some point uh, in the future because I'm sure I can probably, I don't know. I don't know how much more I can make on it than that, but I can make a lot more than, than that on this piece. Um, I, I actually had the earrings and I sold the earrings for, I don't know, 20 some or 30 maybe. I, I don't remember. It was years ago. But I wish I had the earrings now because that right there is going to be a really good seller. The Byzantine collection of Napier from the 80s. The, the 80s are why your earlobes look, look like rubber. <laughs> Pamela, you're funny. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thanks, Lisa. Lisa said thumbs up, everybody. You have earrings that look like this, Roberta? You do? Well, if you're a reseller, you might want to look into that because they they should uh, they should do well. You love the Monet Connect collection. This one is uh, Napier, though. This is Napier. Um, yeah, isn't that pretty? Very, very rich. Very nice piece. Nicely made. Really nice chain, too. Chain has really nice details on it. You see, it's not all it's not all rope. It's I mean it's it's different. See this right here is different. And then this is rope. So it's really, it's a really nice piece. Uh I I thought about not getting it, and then I thought, oh, just get it. You can resell that and make make a pile of money. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. <laughs> uh all right, everybody. I think, I think I'm going to call it a day here for YouTube, or at least for a while until maybe Cindy's auction comes on because uh, I need to, I want to take some pictures. <laughs> uh, some look like a fishing lure. <laughs> um, Kathleen, yeah, Pamela, Kathleen does videos. Check her out. She's just as sweet as can be. You'll love her channel. Um, oh, how is your dog? How is your dog, um, Carmen? Is he doing okay? I mean, I, is he hanging in there? Do you think the medicine's working? Okay, see you later, Tanya. Message me sometime. I miss you. I miss talking to you. Oh, we, we have one joke from Adam. Just one jokey today. I, I don't think that's going to be your last joke today, Adam. Who are you trying to fool? Why did they call it the Dark Ages? Because there were so many nights. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. Love Adam. We all love Adam, don't we? Thank you for all those jokes, Adam. Are you getting those out of a book? Okay, I'll, I'll tell the one that, that I um 
Well, no, I won't. Because y'all you you already heard it. Because I was in the chat and I told it. Plus, I probably told it on here before. All right. See everybody. Y'all have a blessed day. Um, I'll talk to you later in the chats. Bye for now. Oh, doesn't want to walk a lot. But improving, that's good. I'm going to say a prayer for your dog. Okay. See you guys. Be blessed.